All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Uh, this is Boatless Catfishing. First of all, to y'all that regularly watch my videos, you're thinking, well, why is he fishing off the bank when he's got a boat? Well, my Ford truck, uh, the transmission went out 60 miles from the house, pulling that boat. I really haven't fished much uh, in over a week. I had to get that Ford truck fixed to a shop. While it was at the shop, I needed something to ride. So I got a 2020 Explorer, which the boat is now hooked to. I took it for its uh, first pull today, just pulling it up and down the highway, see how it was gonna act. Uh, better fuel mileage. I still kept my truck. Uh, it is out of the shop now. It's right behind this camera. The only downfall to that is on these shallow ramps, is getting back off the boat. I'm probably gonna have to climb through the back hatch or get my feet wet. On the truck, I would climb up on the bumper and over the tailgate. Either way, people, uh, those of y'all that watched my videos back uh, when I started, I was only bank fishing. I didn't have a boat. And to those of y'all that remember, and I remember well, fishing the summer off the bank around here is terrible. Well, I done a little bank fishing and I got reminded how good I've got it being in that boat. First trip, I pulled into Carl Callen Park at Old Stomping Grounds. Got my baits throughout, and I was ready. Problem was, wasn't much going on. Nothing but some dink bites, and uh, not even hardly enough to pull the clicker out. I got so bored, there was a bunch of bass breaking off the point to my right. I was over there fishing for those bass. While I was catching bass, I didn't know what to do with the bass, so there was this gray heron, and I started feeding that gray heron. Once I started feeding that gray heron, uh, that bird hang out with me pretty much the rest of the day.
I caught that one small catfish and here I am stuck off the bank. I'm needing some bait. I can drive all the way out to the dam and try walking down that long walk or I can sit here and wait till later this evening and see if I can't score a couple skipjack right there so that's what I've done. The next morning I took my two skipjack and I went out to this uh, shallow flat across the river. Threw out a couple cut baits and I had my Berkeley Gulp Minnows so I figured I'd catch me a bluegill and throw one of those out on the side. There it is, Berkeley Gulp Minnow. All right, y'all, I tried deep over at Carl Cowan, wasn't much going on. So we're shallow on a flat. Two cut baits, one live bait. That's just gonna have to do. And now let's see if something will chew. The problem with fishing shallow water in the summertime is turtles. As shallow as we're fishing, that could be some old turtle strolling off with the bait. That's definitely a turtle. That's why it's not a steady run. He's just chewing me off. Bait's hard to come by.
That's another dag blasted turtle. I thought it kind of sounded like a turtle bite with that pausing and starting, and it's one of them dag blasted turtles. We got the hook back, but this place just ain't fishable with the turtles, man. We finally hooked up. I hope it ain't fixing the rain. I ain't got no way to cover this camera. Well, all right, y'all. We fought off the turtles. Probably don't have no bait on this one. And we pulled a cat out of here. Shallow water. Little butterball cat. Boy, he hit it like a striper. Almost thought it might have been a striper when he first bit.
Either way, people, if I could have got rid of the turtles, I might have caught some fish. Couldn't keep bait on the hook. Having that boat spoiled me, to y'all that's watched my videos, I have been loading it up with fish every trip, even in Fort Loudon, you know. I've got more options. If they're not where I'm at, I can go get them. Uh, I can find them. I, if one technique don't work, I try something else. I can come up with fish easy out of that boat. Now in the fall, in the spring, winter time, I do pretty good off the bank, but I got stuck off the bank here in August, and that's what happened to me. Either way, this is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.